get started, it's, well, actually only pretty often that I get to be in a room with actual royalty. And tonight is no exception. <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan are here. <laughs> Let's give it up for them. But please, Harry and Meghan, try not to breathe too much tonight because this is my night. And I don't want to be overshadowed by the accusations that you guys are taking up too much oxygen, okay? In all seriousness, I know a lot of kids look up to us athletes for his extraordinary work with veterans in the Invictus Games. To present the award now, I am honored to welcome three heroes, all like Jake, previously Tillman Award recipients and competitors in the Invictus Games. Senior Master Sergeant Israel Detoro. I'm so proud to stand with my Invictus family tonight. Throughout our nation's history, we have supported and received support from allied nations. Harry not only fulfilled that, war, or that in the Middle East, he now supports us by contributing his heart, his spirit, and lending us his celebrity so that ill, sick, injured, and wounded from all over the world have the opportunity to heal through sport and camaraderie. I am honored, and we are honored, to call Harry a friend, a brother, an ally, and the champion of the Invictus spirit. A spirit that has forever changed the lives of many, like us. Please welcome the recipient of the Pat Tillman Award for Service, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. But you guys got to stay here for me. <clears throat> um, um, thank you, Elizabeth, Israel, and Kirsty. Um, stay here. You need to be with me. Um, I'd like to begin by expressing my deepest gratitude to everyone at the Pat Tillman Foundation, led by Marie Tillman Shenton, who I'm so honored is here tonight. I'd also like to acknowledge the Tillman family especially Mrs. Mary Tillman, Pat's mother. Her advocacy for Pat's legacy is deeply personal and one that I respect. The bond between a mother and son is eternal and transcends even the greatest losses. The truth is, I stand here not as Prince Harry Pat Tillman Award recipient, but rather a voice on behalf of the Invictus Games Foundation and the thousands of veterans and service personnel from over 20 nations who have made the Invictus Games a reality. This award belongs to them, not to me. That said, it is of great importance to me to highlight these allies, athletes, and their amazing families for their achievements, their spirit, and their courage at every opportunity, especially on nights like this in front of people like you. Moments like these help us reach those that need Invictus most and reduce more than 20 veterans a day talking, taking their own lives in this country alone. For those who may not know, Invictus comes from Latin, meaning undefeated or unconquerable. Nelson Mandela credited the poem of the same name, written by the poet William Ernest Henley, for giving him the strength to endure nearly 30 years of imprisonment. Like that poem, the spirit of the Invictus Games transcends race, time, and borders. It is born from unity and exudes purpose. This year, we're celebrating 10 years of witnessing life-changing impact and healing through sport. <laughs> Uh, 
And while so much progress has been made since those first games, the world outside seems to be in an even more precarious state. We live in an age marked by polarization and division. Conflicts rage around the globe. Anger and resentment towards those who are different seem to pervade societies everywhere. Our community challenges that. Our community proves that unity is not just possible, but formidable. The beauty of the Invictus Games lies in how it brings people together, no matter one's nationality, background, or personal struggles. It is a collective built from courage and mutual respect, where athletes discover time and time again the common denominator of their humanity. Having survived the crucible of armed combat and forged through the challenge to rebuild bodies and minds impacted by conflict, they form a family. They exemplify the very best in all of us. There is a military expression that dates back to Roman times. I'll spare you another Latin lesson. But the phrase, the phrase translates, or the phrases translates roughly, to leave no one behind. And they hold particular significance for the US Army's Rangers. And I have no doubt Pat Tillman and his comrades lived by those words. So, it is fitting that I end with them and make a promise on behalf of all of us at the Invictus Games Foundation. No matter the road ahead, we are here for you. We will leave no one behind. Thank you. Israel and Kirsty, um, stay here. You need to be with me. Um, I'd like to begin by expressing my deepest gratitude to everyone at the Pat Tillman Foundation, led by Marie Tillman Shenton, who I'm so honoured is here tonight. I'd also like to acknowledge the Tillman family, especially Mrs. Mary Tillman, Pat's mother. Her advocacy for Pat's legacy is deeply personal and one that I respect. The bond between a mother and son is eternal and transcends even the greatest losses. The truth is, I stand here not as Prince Harry Pat Tillman Award recipient, but rather a voice on behalf of the Invictus Games Foundation and the thousands of veterans and service personnel from over 20 nations who have made the Invictus Games a reality. This award belongs to them, not to me. That said, it is of great importance to me to highlight these allies, athletes, and their amazing families for their achievements, their spirit, and their courage at every opportunity, especially on nights like this in front of people like you. Moments like these help us reach those that need Invictus most and reduce more than 20 veterans a day talking, taking their own lives in this country alone.
Sky on your mind 